morning everybody and welcome back i have two more boxes from af archery as you know by now and these are the short suran three kingdom bows nice box again with the sleeve the string and the bow and the difference of the two bows is There you have them, the Zuran, and the difference is one of them has a bamboo core and the other one has a white ceramic foam core. What I first directly liked was these arrow uh, passes, but then I saw there are only stickers and one already comes off here. So I'm not sure if I guess we could improve on that. And the other thing I directly saw was the new handle design. So we have now a new shaped handle. And I have to say, it feels good. Today we talk about the bamboo. Let's see what we get. Let me show you its features. <laughs> so we have uh, the, the normal to run was 37 inches max draw which did maybe 35 and they found many archers found it unnecessary long draw so they made it a little shorter the bow length is 155 centimeters or 61 inches string length is 136 centimeters and the max draw of this one is 36 inches not sure about that but we will see high performance reduced length long seer design provides exceptional stability making it ideal for precision practice and popular among athletes the narrow release point and the addition 1.8 centimeter padding make it user friendly especially for beginners lightweight design ideal for extended use reducing fatigue elasticity and rebound enhances speed and accuracy all weather durability superior elegant design to run today i think the price is roughly 370 dollars but you just check on the website looks really good so i mean the suran was always one of my favorite shape bows with this extreme long curve is here so you have a very short bending section and we have a narrow arrow pass obviously again sears are nice and thin and not centimeters we take inches because we can sears are very thin it's handless interesting but you saw almost probably already a lot of reviews because af sent a bunch of them 60 inches from knock to knock got my measuring device so we have an arrow pass including the stickers of 17 18 millimeters roughly i think it's a good idea with these plastic stickers but on the other side i'm not sure handle feels good so this handle design is very interesting so usually the handle would not have this part here then you have this round handle now it's a little more edgy and you see the shape from here how it looks like it's very interesting so you have it very narrow here on the top and a bit wider on the bottom and it just it just feels good i have to admit you get of course a nice sleeve with it and you get the string so let's see if there's an upper part in the lower part on the string strings are always very nice with af so you can't complain in this department i don't know there's a longer one and a shorter one i guess this is the longer the longer is the bottom one, so we string it this way around. Nice. So, and they say in this direction, ooh, mm -hmm. it's overall stiff. <laughs> Let's see. So, feels good so far. I don't even know what the poundage is. So, stringing is easy. When you do it the right way. Poundage. Hmm, it's written. It's, and I hope both are the same so we can do later on a comparison. 32 at 28. So we have a 32 pound bow. It's supposed to do 36. But you know, always my. I have with this let's see from here 
it's seven and a quarter that seems fine so let's see so it draws very far back you see that but i'm not sure if i reach 36 inches but we will see in a second shall we shoot this one no? hmm, makes sense as you know me i always start slow with the draw these arrows are 34 inches so until here i would say it's nice mm, my rates a bit longer than you see the draw curve coming up so until here but it might open up as we had with the new Sikai, Sikai. But so far, so good. Where you point the arrow goes, this narrow arrow pass is helping and the handle is really nice. But for now, 32, 33 inches. Everything more feels already goes a little up. So I said for now, 33 inches. Might open up to 34, but 36 I don't see. So again, don't overdo it with your bow. You feel that it really goes up then with the poundage, so draw curve wise. But 34 might be possible. Not yet. 32. I'm still at 32. Feels good at 32, don't get me wrong. But everything more feels a little, I don't know. Until here you see that and then it gets stiff. So then you see the draw curve coming up. Of course you can fight against the bow then, but I don't want to do that. So 32, 33 is fine for me for now. The bow shoots relatively accurate. So where you point, the arrow goes and there is one nothing you hear it a little a little loud here but there's not much going on you feel it a bit in the handle more than in the limbs one two three but not not a lot this direction relatively stiff and in this direction the bow is nice stiff so this gives me ease of mind that you even could torque the bow or do something fancy with it the bamboo core have a look the bamboo core and you have another black layer in there and then the bamboo core in the sandwich of this carbon and what have you this one here looks nice this greenish one looks quite fancy and I said on the belly you have then again your carbon there you see the handle nice so this handle shape is fine works really nice just the color combination but that's my matter of taste leather stitching leather is nice just the sticker here is coming off so this is a little unfortunate maybe one should have taken a round sticker i don't know because then the edge cannot come off here the same the edge is lifting already a little so the stickers could be improved for the rest, see it, look at the, how thin these sears are there, very thin here, extremely thin. But then the, the tip part is relatively wide here, so you have the string running nice around here. That's a good thing. For the rest, the string grooves are, yeah, they are sharp here again. So this is from the paint shop, don't like this one, so quality control. This one we could improve because this is where you slide the string over and there's a sharp corner will damage your string quickly. For the rest, nice and elegant. So for how thin these and how long these sears are, the bow is good, stiff. Let's shoot more, less talking. Arrow-wise, I'm 
32 at 28 and then we end up at roughly 40 maybe a little more in full draw and the arrows are 460 so they are a little too heavy So this is with whatever, almost 12 grain, 160, a bit katra, 140. So this is what you get out with kind of like almost 12 grain. Just so we see, 32 inches, 260 grain. So they are a bit too lightweight, but we don't get any recommendation for arrow weight. So let's see. 163, that was not full draw. Yeah, then we get 184. Oops, the other way around. Huh? So, once you come a bit more to 32 inches, then you do 183 foot per second with these lightweight arrows. So, what you get as expected, but it's a nice bow to shoot. Really nice with the 460 grain. They are a bit too heavy, obviously. And until here, I feel comfortable to draw the ball. And I missed the target. Arrow pass is quite narrow, so the arrow doesn't go that far to the right. So now it feels like the arrow wants to bend a little more. So I guess you need just a few shots. And even with these lightweight arrows, it doesn't feel like you harm the bow, you feel a little in the hand. Nice one. Draws nice. 33 inches, I would say. Maybe it opens up to 34. Maybe, maybe later. More, I don't think so. But a nice 33 inch draw with this bow. And for the length of the bow, fine for me. I don't need 36 and don't want to overdo and overstress the bow. But we see. I guess this bow needs to break in, so it feels almost like it draws a bit more and a bit easier. See, until here it's no problem. Still maybe 32, 33, but you feel it goes already a little further without that I feel this overly tension. So I guess this bow needs to break in. No, it's not working. Nice, nice. It will be only interesting how different than the uh, ceramic foam core will be compared to the bamboo. Feels good. This bow feels good. So now we're getting friends. And a little, you know, push a little towards the target. It's fine. I would not do torque. But now we're getting there and even the accuracy is improving. So slowly I get to know this bow and I like you know how I hold the bow on the root of my jump. I close these three fingers and this bow sits nicely in here. So this bow sits nicely in my hand here. See that? You really have a nice controlled grip here. Really nice handle. I didn't like it first when I saw it, but it completely makes sense. Nice control of this bow, even if it's a little longer, but you have here nothing to worry about so even on a horse i would say this one is a nice one when it's getting warm it's eight o'clock and it's getting warm i shoot the lightweight ones again they are 32 and maybe have 
Is the look? Yeah, feels a little better. So get some more lightweight arrows, eight, nine grain, I would say, per pound, and then you're good to go. Nice. With these lightweight ones, you feel a little mm in your hand, but it's not a problem. Maybe they're a little too lightweight, but this boat draws nice and shoots nice. And it's fast enough for me. And it looks gorgeous. Looks really gorgeous. Nice. So, AF archery, well done. Nice bow. Makes sense, the long to run was really too long for most people. This one is just nice. Easy to maneuver, even on 3D, no problem. And I hope it will open up a little more. It feels already, it feels already a little more flexible, so I guess the bow will open up draw curve-wise. Here is a little slag, 28, 29, 30, 31. But from 31 on you feel the draw curve goes up a little to 32 and then it goes even steeper. So 36 I don't see, so AF maybe you want to reconsider your, your mentioned draw length. Same with the CJ. not sure if they do that, but it's a nice bow. Next will be then the ceramic foam individually and then I will do a comparison if I see any difference or feel any difference or what have you. This one is really stiff here, so it's nice. Handle is good, craftsmanship is nice like usual. The only complaint I would have are these stickers here. I think it's a nice idea because when they wear out you just put new ones on. They just, one already came off. And when you don't perform proper katra, or see that bump here, yeah, that's what you get. But for the rest, nice bow. So that's all. Thank you very much, AF Archery, for sending this pretty bow to me. And the other one, of course, I will review the review the other one too very soon. Now it's already getting hot and I have a lesson now and that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing and everything. I catch you in the next one.